So here I am in my um, in Performance Plus. I have just published my map. I actually have the link saved. And I also have it downloaded as a Word document. So what I want to do is show you two different ways of publishing your maps in Open Class. And the first is just to publish it as a link. So here's my fake English 3 course. I've created a content page, which is, again, just sort of a blank, a blank slate, as it were. And I haven't put anything in there, so I'm going to modify that. And I'm going to add a link. So I go to my link icon. And I'm going to link to a website. And I want the text to display. Here is bad typing. I've just pasted in the link that I had copied from before and add the link. I want to save those changes and I'll test the link. I'm just going to go back to the, the view page. So this is how a student would see it. It would be a link and if they click on it, there's your curriculum map. open it up in a new tab. Now, another way to do that, if you have it downloaded as a Word document, for example, you could add an uploaded content page. So I'm going to go through that process quickly. I'm going to go to Modify. I'm going to add a page. And the type is going to be an uploaded content page. And I'm going to upload that Word document. And I'm just going to call it Course Map. content. Um, I'm just going to save it just so it appears right underneath the other course map. Alright, so here's the content page where I've added it as a link. And here's the new page where it's an uploaded content page. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, there should be nothing there. So I go to modify and it asks me, oh, do you want to upload something? Yes, I want to upload an office file. And here you have a standard um, attachment menu. I need to choose the file. And I think I saved it on my desktop as the new world. And then upload and convert file. Sometimes it takes a little while for it to upload and then convert over. Hopefully not too long. We'll see how the uh, conversion how it looks. There's lots of tables and bullets and things in there, so let's just make sure it looks okay. Um, so it's still waiting for conversion, and it might take a little while to do that. So I'm just going to go away to the course home, and I'm going to pop back in there and see if it has it there. And there it is. It's okay. Not too bad. It's real similar to how I downloaded it. Initially I added these bullet points myself, so you might have to manipulate it a little bit in Word to get it to how you want it to look. But if you want your curriculum map to be right there, and you could do a unit, you could do an entire year, whatever, you have that option. Now again, with the content page, the way I did this with a link, that takes students away from your site. With the uploaded content, it's right there. It's its own page, so to speak. So a couple of options for you if you want to start putting your curriculum maps in there, which I think is a great idea.